the Loch Ness Monster when he failed to complete a complex magic ritual at Boleskine House, or even control the demonic entities he was trying to bring through to this dimension by opening a dimensional door, as Max Spears once said. Crowley's failure was said to have unleashed a demon. Is this d demonic dimensional door still open? And if it is, how can it be closed? Bless you, Simon and Becky. Thank you for your kind words. Absolutely. Mm. Um, if we take all the hype away and all the prejudice and all this, that and the other, we're left with, with a, a man, Alistair Crowley, who was a magician. Um, and I always say to my clients, good men or women make good magic. Bad men or bad women make bad magic. Uh, the word black magic, eh, right across the board, is taken as something very evil. <clears throat> when it isn't, it just means hidden magic, as the word occult means hidden magic. But we use the words black magic and occult magic to summon up uh, these visions of evil. The reality is the correct word would be satanic magic. So we're talking about satanic magic. Um, what I do know is that Alistair Crowley attempted to call forth a demon, uh, created a portal <clears throat> which he was not able to close. There have been a number of attempts uh, in the last 20 odd years to close this and I have not been there um, and I couldn't tell you whether it was open or closed. The interesting thing is about Loch Ness. If you look at any genuine pictures of Loch Ness, and there are genuine pictures, they are incredibly black. Uh, and that is a, a very interesting, and always has been an interesting subject to me, because this is just like a demonic energy. Now, I don't believe that Alistair Crowley called forth the Loch Ness Monster, but I do believe that he, he was conjuring with an energy uh, that was too great for him. What actually happened was he was um, magicking a number of separate entities which coalesced into one life force. So he was calling forth a, a group, I can't call it an army, he was calling forth a number. He'd been working with them over a long period of time, first one, then the next one, then the next one. And it's like a, on a Skype chat, you've got about 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, people on there. But what happened is, if you can imagine this energy, woof, all came together, and instead of just exploding or, or breaking up into small parts, uh, it created one new entity. Now, whether that entity then became the Loch Ness Monster, I really don't know. But I know that it created an entity which, from its mass or its size or its bulk, could proceed to be quite a large creature. Uh, Alistair Crowley has been poorly understood and poorly reported um, because very few people were in his inner circle. Uh, it's a fantastic subject, really interesting. Thank you. Okay, thanks.